All right, guys, it's Wednesday night as I make this video that hopefully that you're all watching this on Thursday. This is definitely one that's worth taking a few. I mean, you don't have to take a bunch of notes for this, but this has got some real obvious notes that need to be taken, uh, especially for when you go to write your program. Most of this you've seen before, but there's a few little, a few little um, lines of code that you'll need. All right, this is called a copy constructor. What you'll find is a lot of times, let me go on down back to my uh, source.cpp. All right, here's, I've got a class um, that I've made that it's, 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 it's like for your order in a car. Okay, I'm gonna order a Toyota, a, a Camry. Uh, I'm gonna get an XLE, metallic blue, two door, six cylinder. All right, so it's got, it's got six things. Uh, I'm listing six things. Uh, I've made, to def I've made the, the default constructor. Let me go back to the .h. All right, there's the uh, four variables, a uh, six variables I got in private. Here's my first constructor. Um, just the default one. It's going to set everything to zero or blank. Uh, here's my second constructor. I'm going to send it all six of these variables, and it's going to go ahead and load up. And here's my copy constructor. Let me put that down. Sometimes it's not worth your time to refill this. What if the person right behind me ordered the same car I did? You could have just copied it over. So this makes it easier. Here's the line of code I said that's going to be a little different. You need to take some notes for. All right. Here. All right. We're, it's car class, car construct. Car is always going to be the first word in, in the, the constructor. All right. I am going to send it another car. I'm going to send it the address of an object, and we're going to copy that over. You'll see you'll get a better feel for it as we go through the uh, member functions. All right, the rest of this is just what you'd expect. I've got six setters and six getters. Nothing special here. I've got my const with my getters. So I've got the three different constructors, default, I, the constructor where I totally fill it up, and I've got the new thing we're learning, copy constructor. All right, let's look at the source.cpp file. And again, the thing that I want you to notice is this is a car constructor, and I'm going to send it another car. I'm going to send the constructor an object, which I've made a car object. All right, let's look at these. Here's the here's the car, um, the default constructor that sets everything blank. Here's the constructor that sets sets everything up. I go ahead and I send it. I send it the make, model, package, color, uh, ints. I send it the, the number of doors I want and the number of cylinders I want. Here's that other part of the code that I think you need to write down. Right, here's the third. This is the copy constructor. Right? Car, car, just like the other two. But inside here, up here, I sent this, I sent a string, four strings and two ints. This one, this constructor, I'm sending it a car. All right. I'm so I'm gonna put it the address of this object and I'm gonna send it to it. All right. And then once I send it this, right, I'm just going to sign one by one. Object.make, I'm going to send to make. Object.model, I'm going to sign to model. All the, you think of the, all the left side is my new car. And this is my old car, the car that I'm making the copy. On the right side, you've got the, the object that's being copied. And on the left side, you've got the new object and all the new um, the variables um, assigned. So look at that. I'm sending it the address of something I'm calling object, then object.make, I'm signing into make, object.model, I'm signing into model, package, blah, blah, blah. So pay, t pay attention. I guess the lines in the uh, your notes that you definitely need are the line, this line here, and the line from the .h file. 
the rest of this, you all should be getting pretty good with. I got my setters, six setters, six getters with constants. All right. Now I'm going to go to my source.cpp file. All right. Here's my car. I'm going to make one car. A, I'm going to send it nothing. I'm going to call on the default constructor. Then B, I'm going to call on, call on the constructor that I go ahead and fill it up. I think it's best if I go ahead and run this right now and show it to you. So there you go. That's B, Toyota, Camry, XLE, metallic, blue, two doors, and six cylinders. All right. The person right behind me. See, once the exact same thing I've got, all you have to do is do that. Okay, car C, right? I'm going to build it, but I'm going to send it basically a copy of B, and that's what I want. That's it. That's all you do. Now let's test it. I'm going to copy all of this. Change all the B's to C's. I want to print out my C object, all the see out my total package of everything in C. So this will print out B, then I've made a copy of B into C. Now I'm going to print out all C. So we should get two identical lines. The second line being uh, C. So you go. It's a total copy. All right. That you're going to see real quick how useful it is to have a copy constructor when we start dealing with um, larger. Um, larger classes or those time consuming classes. But almost every every time you make a class, you're expected to make at least one constructor, a destructor, something we haven't really dabbled in too much because we've just had single variables. But um, a, a, a constructor, a copy constructor, a destructor, and all your setters and getters. It's optional whether you put more constructors in or not. So just going back for one quick review on this. All right, from your members, members. So if this would have been employees, this would have been employee, colon, colon, employee, employee, and it could have still been at object, except then you would have object dot name, object dot uh, employee ID, object, dot position, blah, blah, blah. So it would work the same way. So this is the way it lo looks inside your um, members functions. And let's go back to dot H real quick. And this is how it would look in your call. I mean, in your public part of your class. All right, guys, I'll definitely be in on Friday. If y'all need any help on the program that's assigned, it's going to be due uh, probably late Friday. Uh, I'll have a new one to pass out. If you're if you're not, there's going to be some time overlap work time. If you're not done with your program that I assigned on Monday, which I think most of you are, but don't worry if you're not. I can help you out on Friday, but I will have our next fr pa uh, have our next project to hand out on Friday. So basically, what I'm saying is you're going to have some project to work on whichever it is you choose on Friday. All right, guys, have a good produ uh, production day, and I will see you then.